Hey guys, welcome back to the food forest. Tiny, tiny kiwis. So I wanted to show you a really lovely overgrown corner um, and it's just following along the outside of the fence in the food forest. We have so many crops, so much produce coming from this fence as it's one of the first structures to go up in a food forest. So I made a video some time ago where I go through a lot of um, a lot of the different things we have growing along the fence. I'll link to that in the description below. But this morning I wanted to show you this lovely, lovely wild and overgrown corner of the food forest fence <laughs> because I think it's super beautiful and completely wild in its growing power. So this bit outside the fence is for the insects. Lots of cardoon, uh, lots of thistles, lots of um, these lovely knepweed um, that the insects love. Uh, we've had lots of silene growing and uh, it's just a wild and lovely space. Um, these, I don't remember the name in, uh, in English, but they are so lovely and they will be flowering in a moment. So um, what I wanted to show you actually was all of these amazing Thai berries. Look how many we have this, uh, this year. And um, sometimes I think the Thai berries are not super interestingly uh, in, interesting in their taste. They are sort of a bit, they're okay, but a bit bland com compared to a lot of other um, berries. But this year, because of the drought, they are so, so, so delicious. So um, I will have me some for breakfast and then I will pick some for the freezer because every second day I go out to pick the ripe ones and then uh, enjoy enjoy it either for the freezer or for breakfast. As you can see, <laughs> everything is growing too fast. So um, I need to prune this uh, crazy, crazy um, grape that's growing and I have a few growing here, so they, they really need pruning. Uh, I haven't been doing anything since the drought started because it feels like actually the garden wants to be left alone and be covered with growth as much as possible instead of just, um, instead of just being bare, especially when there's stress in the system. So uh, that has been my excuse for a break, but now you can see it's a runaway garden uh, with still a lot of roses and uh, the beginning of a lot of grapes going on. So there you have it. I'll link to the other, um, the other video uh, in the description if you're interested in a list of crops that we grow on the fence. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.